What's up, guys? This is Rodney, Nuftastic EDC, and you know me. <clears throat> I've gotten a couple things in the mail, and I'm going to try to do a series of videos showing things. I'm not sure the order these will come down in. So, that being said, I want to give a shout out to everybody on the 1K wall. I'm so near, but I am stalled. There's been three or four channels, maybe five, that have blown up and gone over the wall. Congratulations to you guys. Grateful Panic. Uh, Gary the Last Ranger, JM Knives, uh, Jersey Knife Guy. Um, there's so much love in this knife community. It's just great, and I really thank you, and I'll get there one day. No worries, you know, if I get 500 elites tomorrow, I'll be fine with that too. It doesn't matter. I've thought about it and worried about it and like, why can't I get there? And it's, it just ain't meant to be, not right now. So no big deal. I thank you, one and all, every sub, and I, I appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day to watch little old me or big old me because I'm not a little guy. And the mods I do, because I enjoy modding, and I enjoy showing knives, and I got different stuff coming in and, and going out. I buy knives, I sell knives, I collect knives. I love knives. Knives are a tool. They can be many other things. But for me, they're a tool. They're pocket jewelry. They're a, a pocket addiction. They're a collection addiction. They're... A necessity knives are cool and everything that revolves around knives the knife community is a bunch of cool guys and gals and I really appreciate y'all letting me be a part of it with that being said I got a sticker in underneath my hand yeah and I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Jersey knife guy Pete thank you I got the sticker I appreciate it Congratulations on your on your growth. You're doing good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get there one day. So one day. And Gary, thank you for doing all you do, The Last Ranger, for putting videos and shout outs and all that stuff for helping us guys get off the under 1K wall. So I hopefully Hopefully soon, I'll be getting a sticker that says 1K Wall Graduate, but not there yet. Okay, now, that being said, I'm going to stick leave that right there. I'll find a place for it here. I got, I don't have but so much film space, and I don't really want to push one out for another, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. I might change my board around. I might, I might change my format and have this board fully full of stickers and then have the other side as a work area with no stickers i don't i don't know yet but with that said being said i've gotten a couple packages in um some mods uh some reviews uh from from friends from you know the knife community and we're gonna go through this but this box here is a box of goodies i don't know what's all in here some of this is mods some of this is is gifts to the channel um some of this is to from what i understand to work naftastic magic on and do whatever i want to do so that's going to be fun this is from my good friend winchester inc great guy I'm sure all of y'all see him in the comments on all the various channels. He's in the live streams a lot. Thank you, Winchester, very much. So let's get into this box. Okay, we're going to open it up with the Tucson TS313. This was uh, shipped to me by another sub of mine, a friend of mine, Cortez. Thank you very much. This is still in and out of pocket. I'm going to get this back to you. I don't want to let it go, but don't worry. I'm not going to keep it. I will get it back to you. 
and this is what we're going to open the box with. We're going to do this off camera. And let's see what's in here. If I can do this without cutting myself. Got it taped up good. Okay. All right. Wow, he's good. Winchester, you do a good job of packing, buddy. You got bubble wrap in here and air bubbles and all kinds of things. So, we have a Tucson. We have a mass drop bag and he always sends me all kinds of goodies oh my god Winchester an Olight pen a concept <laughs> I like that a coin an Indian head coin chief an Olight refill Oop, I'm dropping peanuts okay that's what we got where'd that peanut go okay don't want the dog to eat that thinking it's real food okay so We'll go right into this. This is a refill for the pen, for the open two. This is the refill for this. So we're gonna get into that in just a second. This is very nice coin. Sealed, never open, but it's gonna be open now. Very nice. Indian head tribal skull look at that United States of America five cents that's the bison <laughs> the skeletonized version how cool is that guys I've never seen this one before thank you Johnny 1936 I'm not quite that old but getting there okay now some of these are mods and some of these are gifts okay this is a mod oh wow this looks a lot like the, similar to the critical now I believe this is the one he wants me to just to do some magic on wow I like that it almost looks like it could be a front flipper. Very nice action. I think this is the Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. I think this is the full size. Yes, Main Street. It says it right there. I am digging this. I like that. That's a nice, big old heavy. I think a combination, um, well, I'm just gonna leave it a surprise. I've, I've already had an epiphany of what needs to be done to this, and we're gonna get it done. And yes, there's gonna be some, uh, some frag, but I got a new idea I'm working on. And it might work out good. So, but it's going to be more than just frag. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a dirty frag. <laughs> I like that. I keep wanting to call him by his first name, and I, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll keep calling him Winchester. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure what's in here is not a mass drop, I don't think. 
These are flipper deletes. Yep. Okay, so we have the Orion Solaris. Gonna be doing a flipper delete on this to where it's just a button lock. That's gonna come out good. Very, very nice. I have this exact knife in my collection and I love it. I really, really like it. Action is great. And then this is the Polar in carbon fiber. That's also going to get a flipper delete. And I'm guessing, you know, it's just going to be a Spidey flick. Now, believe it or not, I've never handled a Pilar. I've seen them. I've never picked one up. I like this. It's pretty cool. It's a small little knife. But it feels, the, the purchase in hand is really nice. Feels really good. I like that. I think that's going to look really good with that flipper delete. So those are the two mods there. That's the mods. The two flipper deletes on the Solaris and the um, uh, Pilar. Okay, this is a Tucson that he got. This is the gift to the channel. And this is the three oh four now I think, I think I got that right through three or four I think it's the three or four and apparently there is an issue with blade wrap and I've been looking at this and apparently the reducer section on the backspacer is not enough and it causes the blade to hit this is a thumb stud only knife action is very very nice and you can see right there right there below my finger if I can get that to zoom in to where the blade hits the backspacer which is a problem with some knives but we're gonna fix that I don't know if what I'll do is a combination of reduce the backspacer area just a little bit with the combination of reprofiling the blade a little bit. I really like the look of this knife. This is also the first time in hand. I love the blade shape, sort of that leaf pattern. I love that it's a thumb stud. And it does look like the thumb studs act as the stop, but there's also a stop pin. So I don't know if it's a combination of the both or, or what. Centering is nice. It's got a nice pocket clip. Looks like it goes in and out of pocket well. Hidden screw. Nice hardware. I noticed on a lot of knives they <clears throat> add this little cutout to be able to get to the... It's got titanium... Uh, liners and it, that's where it screws the insert in but I was wondering you know you take the knife apart to work on that anyway why do they add that feature I mean it's cool but if you were to work on the knife you would take the knife apart to change that so why put it there that's just my thought process and I somebody point me out if I'm wrong I'm thinking wrong or or what but why they also do this on the 301 I don't like that that's just something else for a lint to catch something to get caught on it's not necessary to son I mean it's, it's an aesthetic it looks cool in one way but at the same point it's just something that I personally don't like I don't like it on the 301 either if I'm going to be removing it's not something that you adjust, so you don't need to adjust it with the knife together. 
if you're going to work on it or take it apart or do this or do that you're going to take the knife apart so you don't need to have access to it from here but with that said this is a gift to the channel thank you very much Winchester I really like this this will be a keeper for sure it also has I noticed it's got a slight fuller very nice carbon fiber nice thumb studs I really like those thumb studs they're not too over the top pointy like some two sons a review full review will be coming on this I'll probably do the fix with the combination of reducing the backspacer and maybe putting a couple sharpenings on the blade and the blade wrap will be non-existent and that problem will be fixed so that is the Tucson yes 304 thank you very much Johnny oh, I said your name <laughs> Winchester thank you buddy I'll try to bleep that out if I can remember to I'll probably forget <laughs> okay um, oh man I'm 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 thinking about that mod in that Tucson, and I'm, I'm thinking about that Main Street because I have been wanting a Main Street. I've been wanting one, and I, I'm not sure if if that's uh, for the channel or, or if I'm just do it and give it to him or whatever. But man, that is not. I like that. It doesn't matter what it is. All right, now we have the Olight O Pen Two. Wow, this feels like a beast of a pen. Look at the look at the look at the case that comes with this. I mean, it's a light and a pen. How much how much more goodness can you want than having a flashlight and a pen? It comes with its own charger cable. It comes with an extra refill in here also. Plus, he gave me three more refills. I tell you, Winchester, you don't play, buddy. You don't play. All right, let's see. Ooh, that'll put some light on it. Now they just need one that puts a light down here where you're right. <laughs> okay, this is a nice fidgety, nice fluid action. I'll do a full review on this too. I like the. Uh, milling that's been done on this I'm not sure if this is aluminum or titanium it's probably aluminum it has a nice cob style light it's like a nice pocket clip with a special screw that you cannot remove almost micro techish security screw it's like a nice in and out of pocket ramp nice texturing feels really good in hand and it's got some fidget factor for it and I'm sure it writes really well get the ink flowing It works. <laughs> All right, guys. That's what I got. I'm not going to worry about opening up the refills um, because they're just refills. But that's what I got, y'all. It's been 20 minutes. And y'all have a great night. And remember, God is good. God bless. And y'all take care. Winchester, you're the man. I'll get these out to you, brother. Y'all have a good night. God bless.